Yes, students, welcome to this uh, video session. In this video, I'm going to discuss on detectors. Okay. Here, first is what are detectors? Here, detectors are nothing but electronic nuclear instruments. Electronic nuclear instruments. Okay. Here, these instruments are used for the measurement of water radiations. For the measurement of radiations, we are using this one. Yes. Okay. Here, radiations means it may be alpha particle, it may be beta particle, or it may be what gamma particles. The energy of these radiations we can measure it by using the what detectors. Next. Here, what are the different types of detectors? We have different types of detectors we have. One is a proportional counter. Second one is GM counter. And next one is what? Bubble chamber photographic. But students, remember, this one is the now that is a bubble chamber photography. It is not included in your syllabus. It is not included. This is not included. But it is included what? Only what? Proportional counter and also what? GM counter. But for information, this one, bubble chamber photography is the no? very interesting one. Yeah. Using this chamber, we can take the what? The photography of track of the alpha particle and also track of the beta particle, you can take it. It means in an ionization chamber, how alpha particle it traces the track and also how beta particle produces its track that we can work we can that history we can study using what using the photography using bubble chamber photography here students this is the one line this is another line track this is students you see here for the track of the what this is the track of alpha particle this is the track of what beta particle because alpha particle is a heavy one so that the track made by the alpha particle is very thick line and also what is short line that is track length is what short and at the same time it is what thick here but whereas whereas for the beta particle the track length is more and also thickness is what low thickness is what low thickness is low and the track length is what long is. Why it is long and low is it is because of beta particles are nothing but electrons. Size of the particle is very small compared to what alpha particle. Whereas for the alpha particle, you see, for the alpha particle here, that is alpha particles are very heavy particle. That is alpha particle nothing but what it is in a heavy particle, heavy particle. So that along its journey, along its journey. It makes the what more ionizations are what produced by the what by the by the alpha particle it produces. That's why because of its heaviness, it produces the what it produces the the thickness is what the thickness of this is what more here. This thickness is what more here. Okay, next. Then, where all these detectors are used? Next question is, where all detectors are used? The detectors are used, detectors are used here to, to study the, the internal structure of the atom. That is, we can study the internal structure of the atom. And also we can study the what? We can study the, the structure of the nucleus we can study, or we can study the, the structure of the subatomic particles we can study. Here, structure of the nucleus means I can measure the what density of the nucleus, I can measure it. Radius of the nucleus, I can measure it. And also charge of the nucleus, I can what measure it by using the what these detectors. Okay, next one that is. Next is, on what principle these detectors are what works here? Before that, please understand. This is the, the, the actual diagram of the what that is GM counter here. Yes. Here you see students. This is what, this is the, no, this one is, this one is voltage knob it is, voltage knob is here. This is the voltage knob. 
here we can increase the voltage in steps of one volt two volt three volt i can use i can increase it this is called as a what display panel i will call it as a display panel i will call it as a display panel that is okay next one is here this one is the no here this is gm2 that is this is the entire this is what gm2 here but here it is in a for radioactive source any alpha source beta source that i can place it here that is it is, it is called as a stand we can call it as a stand but and here is a cable that you can connect to the what port there is one port is there behind this counter there you can count it here is. and students you see here here that is a that is upper arrow down arrow is there no there we can increase the what i factor i can increase it voltage i can set it either i can increase it or else what i can decrease it time means whether i need the counts for the one second two second or 60 seconds like that i can set it by using this this digital panel that is touch panel is there by using this i can set it as a one that is okay next is yeah what is gm counter nothing but what it is in a giger muller counter that is and this giger muller counter is used for what for the detection and also what the measurement of what radiations next is what is the principle of uh, this gm counter the basic principle of this gm counter is what here it produces the ionization phase. whenever the the radiation is passes through the, now through the gas chamber now that is what electrons are produced not only electrons the positive and the negative ions are produced here and these ions are exaggerated or subjected to the high potential difference and then finally they are attracted by the what electrodes this is the principle that is what is the principle the radiation once the radiation will be entered into the chamber that is gas gets what ions as a result what happens the positive and negative ions are produced and those ions are exaggerated by the what high potential difference here and finally those charges are attracted by the what respective electrode here and here one more thing students here here the voltage i can vary it nearly about thousand to what two thousand two and of thousand i can oh, i can vary the voltage i can vary it here that is now this is the the construction of gm2 that is construction students you see here here, this is the cylinder, students. This is the cylinder. Metallic cylinder it is. This cylinder is filled with, is filled with what? It is 90% of argon gas and also 10% of the alcohol compound, either methyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol, or sometimes it is filled with what? The bromine. It is filled with. At very low pressure, the gas is there. Here, this is the what mixture of gas is there. Here, it is the gas the gas mixture is there. This is the gas mixture. This is the what 90% of argon and 10% of water. The bromine gas is there. Next, here that one wire is stretched. One wire is stretched. This is the wire stretched. This wire length is diameter is nearly about. This diameter is near about 0.1 mm, that is 0.1 mm wire is there. This wire is stretched between this end to what? This end. And it is made up of what? Tungsten wire. The tungsten wire. The tungsten wire is what? It is here. Next one is here. This is this end. The tungsten wire is connected to the what? Connected to the that is positive terminal of the battery. This is the positive terminal of the battery. So that the tungsten wire is acts like a VNO node. It acts like a VNO node. Through the resistance R here. This resistance, the value is what? How much it is? The resistance value is what? Nearly 100 mega volt. That is. This is the 100 mega volt resistance. Value. And next is here. That is another terminal is there. Negative terminal is there this negative terminal is what it is the negative terminal it is connected this is the negative terminal this negative terminal is connected to what connected to this one that is here cathode body of the cylinder body of the cylinder so that this cylinder will be what adds like a cathode this will be adds like a cathode and this will be sorry this will be 
acts like a what? A node here. Next. Here, that is a variable voltage is there. It is high tension battery. I told you that is the voltage will be varies from 1000 to what? 3000 volt. There's one voltage knob is there. In steps of one volt, you can increase it. And this end and this end is what? It is insulated. Purely it is insulated. Next is here. This is the one part. This is accompanied by this circuit is accompanied by what? There is another circuits are there. What are the circuits here? The circuit is what? It is a amplifier circuit. Amplifier. Amplifier. It is associated with the amplifier. Plus of what? Discriminator circuit. Discriminator. Discriminator circuit. Plus and another one is what? The counter is there. All all together, that's why I call it as a what electronic nuclear instrument. And here this counting machine is the counting unit is there. There you can see the what the pulses you can see that is this is about the, the construction of the board, construction of the, the GM counter. I'll tell you later why people are using this gas that is alcohol or something. What is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of the argon? And then I'll tell you the, the working part. Next. Okay. Now, construction that is is what working. Here, the whenever the radiations are enters into the chamber, now a few ions are produced due to what ionization. Here, now radiations will be what producing. One more thing I left here. Here, there is a window. Is there? This is the window that is this window this window is made up of what it is a mica sheet student this is the made up of what the window it is made up of a mica sheet mica sheet why people are using the mica sheet is mica sheet because here because it is thermally conducting it is thermally conducting thermally conducting and electrically non-conducting Non-conductive. That's why here the mica sheet is what here the mica sheet is what used here. It is a window. Through this, what happens now? It is elect any alpha radiations or beta radiations will be what enters into this here. Next. Okay. Now, what is the working mechanism? When the radiations are enters into the chamber through the window, the few ions are produced due to what? Ionization. How the ionization produced here? Now, this is the what? Radiation. Now, here is the one argon atom is there. This is the what? Argon atom. It is what? Argon atom is there. When it is argon atom is there, now radiations are completely absorbed by the argon atom. The whatever the electrons are there, valence electrons are there. Now, the energy is absorbed by the valence electrons. As a result, the electron is removed out from the atom. This is this phenomenon is called as an what ionization phenomena. This is called as an what ionization phenomena. Now, as a result, one is positive ion and another one is what the negative ion is what formed here. If the applied voltage is further in increased, ion gets what multiplied and all that. I'll tell you now that is how it takes place and all that now here. Okay, first this is a what? Argon. And it is absorbed. As a result, what happens? Now that is now one minute here. I will delete our thing that is delete here. The radiation is what? Absorbed. By the which atom here? That is what? Argon atom here. Now you are getting what? One is what? Positive ion and another one is what? Negative ion is formed here. These electrons are there now that whatever. This is called as in what? Primary ionization that is called as a what primary ion i will call it as a what primary ionization primary ionization primary ionization now these electrons are exhilarated since you are applying the electrical field you are applying so that we know the equation f equal to what q into what e we know this equation and also according to newton's law f equal to what ma we know that ma equal to what q into what e that is 
here. Now the electrons are get accelerated. Electrons are get accelerated. These accelerated electrons are what happens now? Allowed to incident or allowed to incident on another argon atom. That is another argon atom. Again, that is what secondary ionization phenomena is formed here. That's here, one more the positive ion and negative ion is formed. Now that is what this electron and another one is this electron is formed here. This is called as a primary electron. It is called as a primary electron. This is called as an award secondary electron. I will call it as a word secondary electron. Secondary electron. I will call it as again. This electron will be creates the what next ionization phenomenon it creates here. Again, you are getting electron, electron. Again, this also what electron, electron. In this fashion, what happens is a number of electrons are formed here. Electron cloud is what produced in the entire chamber and all. And that stage, the primary, secondary, tertiary, and ultimately we reach the what avalanche. That is what avalanche breakdown. Avalanche number of electrons are what it is formed in the what in the in the chamber. And along with that, what happens is whenever these electrons now that is whenever these electrons comes under the influence of the nucleus field field of the nucleus at the time there is a de-acceleration of the electron if it takes place electrons gets de-accelerated once the electrons is gets into de-accelerated now it emits the what one kind of radiations are emits those radiations are called as a what Bramstrong effect or Bramstrong radiation Bramstrong Bramstrong effect will be takes place Bram's, and the effect will be takes place and those radiations are called as an what prime strong radiations next is these radiations what does it it, it it will do is here here these radiations are allowed to incident on the chamber next. these radiations are what allowed to incident on the chamber here these radiations will be travels in this fashion it is it will travel like this it will travel like this since it is the inner surface is what it is it is a metallic surface here so that photo electrons will going to emit this photo electrons will be emitted and again those electrons will be what again it creates the what the secondary ionization tertiary ionization third uh, ionization third stage fourth stage like that so that in a within a span of uh, uh, microsecond or so that is what the number of uh, that is what the positive ions and negative ions are what formed in the entire chamber gas. Now, now, next is okay. Now, here there is a cloud of what positive ions and negative ions are there. Now, since we know that this is what this is, this is the anode. We know that this is what anode. Now, all that is electron, whatever the electrons are formed now. This electron is attracted by what this here electron moves like this, like this electron moves here. But for this, in order to electron, when the electron moves now, here that is what V equal to IR, V equal to what IR, V equal to IR, V equal to IR. Here the voltage will be develops here, this voltage develops here, this voltage will be develops. And a pulse is developed here. That is what electronic pulse. This pulse indicates there is an what radiation. That is what radiation is enters into the what chamber. Now this signal is fed to the what amplifier circuit. Next is discriminator circuit. Next is what counter. Where we can measure the what we can measure the the number of counts. We can measure it by using the what the counter unit and all. Students see here. Here, that is electron to travel, that is electron is attracted by the anode and then it will reach the what? This. For this entire process, you need some time is required. There's some time is required for this. This time, I will call it as a what? Dead time. I will call it as a what? Dead time. Why I'm using the word the dead time is during this time interval, if any other pulse comes, now that is, if any other radiations will be incident on it now. You are the counter is unable to detect. I'll repeat once again. Here, the what happens is when the radiation is what entered. When the radiation is entered, what happens is that is 
primary electron, secondary electron, like, like that average of electrons is what produce DNA. And this electron will be attracted by the anode like this, and it will flow in this manner. And finally, it is attracted by what? This here. For this whole mechanism that is what? For this whole mechanism, what happens is now there is some time is required. Now that time I will call it as a what? I will call it as a what? Dead time it is what? Dead time. Call it as a dead time. And dead time it is of the order of what? 200 microsecond. 200 microsecond. Of course, it varies that is 200 microsecond, 300 microsecond, and all that. And during this time, if any other pulse comes now, that is, if any other pulse comes now, that is what? It is a detector is what? Unable to detect here. It is your purely with detector is what? Insensitive. In completely, it is what? Insensitive. Next is now. Students, as I told you, that is here, that is, it is cathode now. So that here, first two ions are there here, first two. Then what is the purpose of using the water? Here, the bromine gas, alcohol gas, and all that. Now, electron, a little bit travels like this. Electron comes like this. Already some positive ions are there on the, the inner layer of the cylinder, that is. Now, here, there is a recombination of what? The recombination of what? The recombination of recombination. Combination of recombination of uh, recombination of ions takes place here. Recombination of ion takes place. As a result, what happens? It converts into what? It converts into neutral atom. It converts into neutral atom. It converts into neutral atom. Now, here, now you are bringing back the entire system into the what? What is the state? You are bringing back the entire system into what? That is, what is the state you are bringing back? By this, why you are bringing back the entire system into the what? The original state and all that. I will explain that another term is associated with it here. That is called as a phenomenon of quenching. That is, it is called in a what? Quenching. That quenching, I will explain it later. I will explain it. Now, I will, some other important terms are there here. Some important terms are there. Here. Working is war, that is. And here. The positive ions are heavy, and I have one more point I forgot in here. The positive ions are heavy one here. It takes always more time for this. How much time it takes? Do you know that positive ions? It takes 10 to the power of 4, 10 to the power of minus 3 second. It takes 10 to the power of minus 3 second to what? 10 to the power of minus 4 second it takes. But whereas electrons can take only what? Microseconds it takes here. Microsecond it takes here. Electrons to travel there. When the, because the positive ions are heavy, that is, so that all that is positive ions are what surrounded by the what surrounded by the what anode only surrounded by the what that is a tungsten wire and all that. Next is here. There is some important terminology is that what is dead time? It is a one popular question. Is that two more question or something? It is defined as the time during which it is defined as the time during which. It is which the counter is fails to fail, fails to record any other radiations entering into the chamber. Normally, the dead time is what it is in terms of what microsecond. Your detector is completely it is insensitive. And you see, very important. Lesser the dead time, the dead time is lesser, that larger the sensitivity of the instrument. The sensitivity is said to be more if the lesser. If the uh, dead time is what lesser and all that. Next, one more term is that here we are discussing now. Here that is a recovery time. What is recovery time? That is okay. Recovery time. Recovery time is nothing but what here. One the counter. How much time is time is required by the counter to bring back to its initial stage? I think you can able to understand the recovery time is. Recovery means what? Here, there is a time required to bring back the system to the what? In order to recognize the another radiation and all that. It will come back to the what? Initial stage. And here, this dead time, 
plus of what this dead time plus of what recovery time it is all together i will use the another word it is what paralyzed time it is paralyzed time suppose this is 200 microsecond this is also 100 microsecond then 200 plus 100 equal to how much it is 300 microsecond it is the what paralyzed time i think it is clear for you that is dead time means it is the time up to which that is counter is unable to what detect any radiation recovery means again the system is should be ready for the next counting all together these together it is called as an what paralyzed time and all that and one more that is efficiency that is what what is efficiency it is the ratio of what n by n small n by n what is small n it is the number of counts observed per second it is this value of n will be displayed on the on the counter that is displaying it no there and to the what number of ionizing particles or radiations are entered into the what chamber this is n by n and you know that the efficiency the term efficiency normally gm counter we are using for the beta particles we are using for the beta particles not for the any alpha particle or sorry uh, alpha particle and gamma particle here you see the efficiency of the gm2 for alpha and gamma particle radiations is very very low that is low of course you can measure it but efficiency is efficiency is not so much that's why we are using the gm counter particularly for the what the beta source we are using this next okay what are the merits and demerits of the tube merits this cost is what here the cost of this is what low that is cost is low and the instrument is what more portable that is easy like a use it next what are the demerits of it many demerits are there of course we cannot distinguish between the what high energetic particle and low energetic particle suppose two alpha particles are entering here which is higher energy and which is lower energy we cannot distinguish it here that is next it cannot be it can be used only for the what it can be used only for the what low counting rate it can be used only for the low counting rate but it cannot be used for the what high counting rate we cannot use it and next one is it cannot be detect uncharged particles like neutrons of course the statement is not 100 percent correct here because some other indirect methods are there by using the indirect methods also we can measure the what that is we can uh, energy of the neutrons we can uh, measure it also next is here yeah. here it has very low efficiency for the what gamma radiations it has very low efficiency these are the what the d merits of what the d merits of what d merits of the this one gm counter one more d merit is there unless alpha particle it has what more efficiency that is more energy we cannot detect it. Here the one question arises, conceptual question. Why GM counter cannot be used for the alpha particle and gamma particle? Here, the first thing is gamma particle is nothing but a photon that is. Gamma particle is nothing but photon. The ionization produced, ionization produced, produced is less, is less, is less. For which one? For gamma rays. Gamma rays. What about for alpha particle? Alpha particle should have more energy. That is what. Unless the alpha particle have the more energy, that is what. It is difficult to use it for the detection and all. This is about the what. The merits, demerits, construction, and working everything I discuss. Here I told you that is one more parameter. I told you that is here. That is why that is uh, this one. That is mm. bromine gas is used or alcohol compound is what used and what is quenching? That is, I'll tell you this. The quenching means here a positive sheet is formed here. That is a positive sheet. A positive sheet is formed. Is formed around wire why which wire wire tungsten wire that is why there is positive sheet ir is formed here because one reason is there for it here 
component here. Around this, around this wire, positive sheet is what formed here. Okay. okay. Because the positive ions are what? They are, uh, uh, they are heavy, that is. The positive ions are what? Very, very heavy, that is. That's why all positive charges will be what? Accumulate more here around this. And it takes more time for that in order to travel that is. I told you that is. It requires nearly about uh, 10 to the power of minus 3, second to what? 10 to the power of what? Minus 4, second is what? Now, whatever that is positive ions are there now, that is when the problem or not there now, that is electrical field will be what decreases here. Whatever the electrical field is there, this will be decreased. Once the electrical field is decreased here, the ionization phenomena will be what stops this. Now it is a time to remove the all the positive charges. It is the time to what remove the all the positive charges here. That phenomena is called as an what quenching. That is, it is called as an what quenching. That is, quenching means the removal of the what removal of the positive ions here. That is, the removal of the positive ions. The removal of the positive ions, which are surrounded by the anode and detector, making it ready to record the fresh events, is called as an what? Is called as a, is called as quenching. Next is how the quenching is achieved. The quenching is achieved when that is a, electron travels. No, that electron travels here in the chamber. Electron one. I'll show you. Okay, here it is. Electron. Electron is attracted by the what? Electron travels like this. Here already what is there? Some that is positive ions are already it is there here. That is positive ions are there. Now there is a recombination of what electron and positive ions will be taking place. What is taking place here? Recombination. 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 Recombination of positive, positive, and negative ion. Now, as a result, what happens now? The neutral atom is formed here. Neutral. neutral. Now you are bringing back by this mechanism. You are bringing back to the entire system to the original state here. But one interesting thing is taking place yesterday. What is that thing is? Now, during the recombination, I think probably you studied the, the semiconductor lasers, semiconductor lasers, diode lasers, and all that you, you studied that. Where during the recombination, what happens is it will emit the radiation, so the emits photon. This photon will become in contact with what? Alcohol molecule, that is alcohol, methyl alcohol, or ethyl alcohol, or something. And during the recombination of the electron positive ion, it emits the what? The positive ion. It's a one photon will be emits here. This photon will be incidence on the alcohol. That is. And now whatever the energy is that emitted, the energy is emitted now, that will be energy is dissociate. That is a dissociation of the dissociation. Dissociation. Dissociation of energy takes place. Dissociation. Of energy takes place. Dissociation of energy. Why this mechanism is required is otherwise, what happens if at all this photon is there? No, if it is incident on the argon atom and all that, then what happens? No, again, the secondary ionization, secondary avalanche will be takes place. We don't want, listen carefully, that is, this GM counter is designed for the one time counting, that is, it is designed for explosion exclusively for the one-time counting. Otherwise, what happens? This photon is there now. Again, it will create the what? That is, again, the electron emission, again, primary electron emission, secondary ele electron em emission, the avalanche. Again, the signal will be appears at all. We don't want that signal. We don't want. We want only one signal. One time, that is. All this GM counter is designed for the what? That is for one-time counting. Otherwise, second-time counting will take place. Now, this one, in order to eliminate this, we are using the water that is a ethyl alcohol, methyl alcohol. Now, the question is, why are you using the only methyl alcohol and all that? Here, 
the ionization potential of this ionization potential ionization potential ionization potential potential is low that is ionization potential is low. compared to what argonite compared to what argonite okay here's two things you have to remember here in the project from the point of examination what is quenching it is removal of all positive ion cells and making your system ready for the what second count and all that what is recovery time it is the time required to bring back the system to the initial state here that is called as a recovery time dead time plus recovery time is nothing but what paralyzed time it is on hardly it's of the order of what microsecond and all that and this device is more sensitive for the what for the beta particle but not for the alpha particle and the gamma particle and all okay now this idea now i will end my session thank you one and all.